Welcome inside West Edmonton Mall as we get ready for the fourth game of now the afternoon here in the Brick Invitational with Toronto Pro Hockey taking on the Western Selects and a lot on the line here for Toronto Pro Hockey as they currently have five points and sit one point back of the playoff line. However, a game in hand over Manitoba. That's true, and you can sit at five points. Junior Ice sitting at six right now with that pivotal three-point lead, right? Three-point win today. They could leapfrog, plus still have that game in hand. For the Western Selects, it looks as if it's going to be not possible to make it towards the playoff line. They're currently 1-3. They won their first game of the tournament, lost their last three, but they can play the role of spoilers here, and they've been close and in to most of their games throughout this tournament. They've they've played solid hockey throughout this entire tournament, but more importantly, not having that no-quit attitude has been imperative for this Western Selects team being in almost every game they've played so far. Let's head down to ice level and get ready for tonight's message of reconciliation and national anthem as we got the Western Selects down to our broadcast left. We got Toronto Pro Hockey down to our broadcast right and we'll go down to hear a message of reconciliation with Chief Willie Littlechild and then tonight's Canadian and American anthems before game number five here this morning. It's Toronto Pro Hockey taking on the Western Selects in game number four. My apologies of day four as well here at the Brick Invitational at West Edmonton Mall. Toronto Pro Hockey. 
They sit with a two and one record through three games played. They got three games remaining, currently fourth in that Wigston division. They got a two to one loss against the Bulldogs and then back to back wins, three two over Manitoba. And that four three thrilling victory over Minnesota. Yeah, great game against Minnesota, taking advantage of that hard play throughout the entire three period action. Some key players to watch for Toronto include Brock Manders, number 87, who helps the, leads the team in scoring, I believe, and Grayson Mancari. Uh, both those guys truly playing great hockey in three games so far for pro hockey. And like you said, only three games played. A little bit of an easier schedule at the beginning, but then ramping it up as we head into final day play tomorrow. Taking a look now at your Wigston standings. Minnesota, 13 points through five games played. They have one remaining. Toronto Bulldogs, nine points in four games played. And Manitoba, six points in four games played. Of course, we mentioned Toronto Pro Hockey, five points in three games played. So if they get an overtime win or regulation win, they will leapfrog Team Manitoba and into that third and final playoff spot. Moving day slash gas pedal day here. Draft day here Thursday. In net for the Western Selects will be Donovan Chavez. Faced 53 shots, stopped 44 of them, an 836 save percentage and a 4. 44 goals against average. Trying to get a look down at Toronto Pro Hockey. It's the white number on the white band of their jersey, so tough to see, but I believe it is Ethan Fullerton. You are correct. Has stopped 8 of 10 shots for Toronto Pro Hockey, an 800 save percentage and a 2 goals against average. As we're down inside Western Selects, Toronto Pro Hockey going right to work. Around the net goes Russo, the defenseman, wearing number 97. The Western Selects helped out by Mulligan. Looking to be steered off the puck. Now back into the corner for Toronto Pro Hockey is Callum Riley. Riley will work it off the boards. Now steered back in by Mulligan. He'll get helped out. And in comes Grayson Mancari. Mancari into the corner. Chance at the point will be driven back down low as Atard throws it in. All Toronto Pro Hockey here in the opening minute. Now finally it's CJ Panza coming back out for Western Selects. Dipping wide, looking to get around the defense. Knocked free and taken back around the net of Fullerton. Western Selects couldn't hold. That's picked up by McDermott. McDermott will slide it in. Back for it goes Grayson Moore, D to D. Now moved upside the near boards. McDermott going to try to slide that one into the post. A chance here for Toronto Pro Hockey. He'll feed Hackett, but it's offside as the pass coming a little bit too late. And we're going to face off in new choice. I think Hackett was expecting that pass a couple of strides before. Amanda didn't have his head up, but once he did see Hackett up there, he suits, suits on the puck. Just unfortunately unable to put on the brakes was number 97, Josh Hackett as the faceoff will come to the Toronto side of their ice. Manders against Morrow. One back here, and another chance now, Aladi. Aladi in with Hackett, the pass coming across, another chance, Hackett, forehead shot! This one stopped in by Chavez. Oh yeah, one breakaway taken away from him, and that one given right back for Hackett. But Chavez, a big save. Chavez, a huge save to keep it 0-0, as Hackett was making a fake shot and then moving to the forehand, just couldn't slide it by the pad of Chavez. Aladi back down low, Hackett battling, Watson up top will throw it along the boards. Aladi trying to poke it back down low to Hackett, Manders the other forward on the ice, down into the corner. Here is Aladi, leaves for Manders. Toronto Pro Hockey with the sustained pressure back behind the net of Chavez, trying to work it free, it hemmed up along the wire, and wraparound chance scores! Quickly out from behind the net and sliding it in is Brock Manders with his fourth goal of the tournament and TPH up one nothing. A bit of a scrum behind Chavez and he was watching the puck and he thought it was gonna come to his blocker instead. There was their leading scorer for Toronto Pro Hockey in Brock Manders grabbing the puck, scooting to the forehand and beating to the far post to give Toronto Pro Hockey a one nothing lead. A lot of pressure in the Western Select Zone being hemmed in there, and finally the outcome that the TPH needed with the goal at the end. one nothing. Brock Manders, as he'll get credit for that one, just drove out from back behind the net and caught Chavez, unable to move from his right to his left quick enough for Manders to slide it in. 9.30 left here in the first period. 
As you mentioned, that is Manders' fourth goal and fifth point of the tournament. Calder works it back in. So Michael Alati picking up the lone assist on the goal for Manders. And for Alati, that's assist number five. Back along the near side boards, Russo holds it in nicely. Calder going to take a bump as he gets a little harassed by Lamborn. Back down for the defenseman, Luca Tard, or the center, I should say. Manning defense right now as Lamborn got into a little bit of a skirmish with one of the Western Selects players. Back for Huang. Huang in. He'll work it into the slot. Now stick checked by Leibowitz. Leibowitz back out of his own zone, in across center, dips it wide. Leibowitz walks by Moore, stops up into the corner. Leibowitz now shakes off another. Up top, Mulligan's got traffic in front. The shot, the tip, side, back across, and put that through the blue paint was Gwynn. Now Leibowitz down around the net. Connor going, looking for it. And Leo Attard. Now in, outside around the defenseman, and Mulligan gets enough of a whack to steer him back into the corner wall. TPH with a change at the line. There's Chan, long, low shot. Never made its way towards the net of Chavez. Back behind the net, into the office, looking to work it back out and almost doing so. Good opportunity there, Chavez knocked it free. And yeah, that one coming from Callum Riley of Toronto Pro Hockey, back for Western Selects. Bouncing puck will roll past the goaltender in Fullerton. Only faced one shot. Both goaltenders have now a two on one the other way. Toronto Pro Hockey in across and a great defensive play. That one coming from Krieger breaking it up. Gavin Krieger using an active stick there to stop the pass. Chan shot, rebound, steered away by Riley. Looking for another wraparound chance. He'll take it into the corner. All the way back up top. Unable to hit Chan. And back comes Western Select, C.J. Panza. Wide around Chan, now gets forced back to the wall. Plays it down low. Driving in after it was Benjamin Diara. And he'll make the play up ice. A couple players ran into each other as that was Meisner. Getting a shoulder on his own teammate in man carry. Chan up, trying to lead Man Carey, a little bit of the reach, but he crossed center, so no icing. Krieger, Man Carey, into the corner. Steered off the puck, turnover now. Manders, already a goal today, and trying to fire that one on the blocker side, blocked up by the defenseman in McDermott. McDermott back the other way, ran into Alotti. And offside, gonna be called here by Western. A great job by getting those active sticks was Gavin Krieger, and then watching McDermott, Austin McDermott, number 47, carry the puck for the Western Slicks. He has done that all week, finding that open ice and getting it out of the zone and getting it into the attacking zone for the Western Selects. Long range along the near side, taken down by Alotti. Here comes Manders, walks into the zone. Going to be offside, though, Hackett as we get a look at Brock Manders and his handiwork in the game's opening goal and help with the wraparound out of nowhere. Great wraparound job. You see Chavez stuck on the closed post and unable to get across as quick. And Manders able to stuff it in there before Chavez able to cover that post to give us a 1-0 lead for TPH. 6.20 left in the first period, battling back across center ice, sent in by Toronto Pro Hockey, actually off a of body. Going to be whipped back in by Western. Possibly back for it's Moore. He's got Ozzy Watson on the defensive pairing. Knocked it up the wall, sent back in by Longridge. 1-1 the shots on goal in the opening half of this period. Six minutes gone, six minutes of rain. Out for Connolly, Watson tucks it back towards a teammate. Manders now trying to exit. Poke checked off the puck by Morrow. Back around the net, Moore to Watson. Watson will break free of the zone. Skating down across center ice. Now met against a combatant in Morrow. Manders gonna find it. Manders across to Hackett. In comes Huang. Huang in. Wide with plenty of speed, driving to the net to this one off the side, back into the corner. Now Manders, pardon me, Hackett. Manders, one-timer stopped by Chavez. Puck right behind him, and finally the whistle comes. Defenseman there as well. Make sure that didn't creep through the five hole. Absolutely great job by Huang, literally driving forcefully to that first close post, unable to get a clear shot, but then how about Hackett? Hackett going literally 50 feet across the ice and a great one-timer chance by Manders equal to the test was Chavez. 
Face off in towards the glove hand side of Chavez. Second shot on goal there for him. As Toronto Pro Hockey with Leo Attard, Wang, and Ezekiel up front. Here comes Ezekiel into his own zone. Almost gave it away into the slot. It'll be steered back around near side. Wang after it. Back onto the puck on the stick of Russo. Up for CJ Panza. Panza got knocked free. Defenseman there getting in the way was Connor Gowing. Gowing back down low. Knocked down by Panza. In comes Smith. Shoots tipped Panza. And this one pad save coming into the corner by Fullerton. Now on and on the far side, Toronto Pro Hockey looking for a breakout. They'll get it. Azakia down wide, shakes off the defense. Azakia right to the net, shoots, rebound, scores! As Wang gets the rebound goal off the pad of Chavez. It's 2-0 Toronto Pro Hockey. Wang was gifted the opportunity to have a wide open gaping net on the close side as a great job by Azakia using that speed going inside, outside, kind of confusing that defenseman continues to the net and as many of these young kids get to see and use and understand the hockey sense shooting that off the far pad of Chavez right onto the stick of Huang who were able to find that gaping net to make it a 2-0 game for Toronto for hockey. Azakia his first assist in the tournament second point and for Eric Huang his first goal of the tournament and second point. We're starting to see that secondary story come into play here for a lot of these teams and that could be that separator between the teams that gather three points uh, continuing on here Thursday and Friday. But great job by TPH so far. A lot of that speed. Equally, Fullerton had that early test about a minute ago, his first test of the evening. Sent in by McDermott. Back around the net. This one pops out in front, though, and Fullerton recognizes it, gets that blocker down. Does he have it? It's loose and now cleared away from the house by Toronto Pro Hockey. McDermott down the wall. After it went Chan. He gets stick checked off the puck. And now back out. In for Riley. Taking it wide. Riley around McDermott. Shoots. Stopped by Chavez. And he'll hold it for a whistle. Good stop by there, Chavez. Riley taking that puck wide. Able to get a bit of a harder look at the net. But he still gets it on net. And he gets a save on Chavez. We got a face off to the right side. So Dylan Lamborn picking up the secondary assist on that goal. His first point of the tournament. Also, Sal Azakia getting in on a point with the assist. And the goal, of course, Eric Wang. Now back up the far side for Western Selects. Looking to move it outside the zone. Stifled up at the blue line by Al Carey. Back in Watson. He's going to bring it in. The defenseman for TPA trying to fire a shot. Ran into a crest. Another one. Manders, second of the game. Up and over Chavez. 3-0 Toronto. Manders making very little work of that great work job by Ozzy Watson, who did most of the job. Ozzy Watson taking on three defenders of the Western Selects, and Brock Manders left unmarked on the post as he lifts the backhand above the glove side of Chavez to make it a 3 0 game. How about Brock Manders? Two shots on net, two goals. The efficiency of his shooting is unparalleled. Now five goals in the tournament for Brock Manders, six points. He's been the go-to guy for Toronto Pro Hockey so far, and two goals in tonight's game. In comes Hackett. Top line still out for Toronto Pro Hockey. Hackett right towards, around the net now, into the corner. Hackett up top for Ozzie Watson. D to D, gonna find Moore. Moore drags, fires in front. Manders looking for the hat trick and fanned on that one. Gets it back into the slot though and cleared away. Is Gwynn gonna take down Watson and a penalty coming up now against the Western Selects. Manders doesn't even want it. Wrap around chance and Chavez recognizes that one and makes the save. A delayed penalty call on the Western Selects is number 63, Boston Gwynn. Looks like he'll be taken off for tripping as he took Ozzy Watson out on the boards. And this should be the first power play of the afternoon for the Toronto Pro Hockey. 2.55 left here in the first period. 3-0 for Toronto Pro Hockey. In towards the faceoff is Luke Attard. Battling ensues inside the corner. Two for our other team. Leibowitz trying to poke it free for the selects. Work back up top. Slap shot. This power play brought to you by Kachuk Advisory Group at Scotia Wealth Management. 
First one of the game, Azakia will spin it back up top for Ozzy Watson. Lane to fire, takes it, Chavez, glove save. As Chavez saw that all the way, no screen in front of him as Ozzy Watson left that high rising wrist shot. Almost just looking above the shoulder. But Chavez is one of those taller goaltenders that we see here this week. Probably would have went over the net, but he makes the glove save and he gets the stop. Atard back up top, long shot. Lamborn deflected in. It's 4 0 Toronto. As Leo Atard, I think, got the tip on that one. And it's a power play goal. Toronto Pro Hockey with four. Yeah, face off one by TPH there. Back to Lamborn. Lamborn keeping that shot right around that knee high. And Atard able to get the stick on it and get it to the blocker side past Chavez to make it 4 0. And respect, of course, by Toronto Pro Hockey is not doing the lap around the fans. Straight to center ice with their fourth goal of the first period. Their offense has been very stealthy here so far. All the way for Azakia. Shot off the side of the net. Stealthy. Stealthy. I say it's been pretty noticeable. noticeable. In fact, the opposite. Stealth. <laughs> Just, well, noticeable, yeah. <laughs> Maybe uh, <laughs> stealth is in terms of, like, you know, on point. Now we're back behind the net for Gowing. Taken away by the goaltender. Poke checked. Rebound chance. Chavez. Big save in front of the net. As Gowing at the point. Down the wall, Azakia. Azakia works it towards the corner boards. Trying to fight it back towards the wall. Shot from Atar, toe saved by Chavez as Azakia and Lamborn assist. Another one scores. Chavez doing all he can in front. But Toronto Pro Hockey with opportunity after opportunity. I believe this one is going to go to Leo Attard again. We'll have to get your scoring summary, but one minute, 37 seconds in Toronto Pro Hockey with five. Five already in the first. We're going to get a goalie switch here. As Chavez gets taken out, we're going to see the other goaltender for the Western Selects, as it be Henry McDonald. Saw, saw him in the last game. In comes Calder and lifted that one up and over the net. 127 left in the first period. That might have caught the crossbar as it entered, mm. or left the rink, sorry. And uh, Fullerton not tested as much, but it had to be equal there. Shots on goal, 13 to two for Toronto Pro Hockey. It's back towards the faceoff, club hand side. Here of Fullerton. Calder will take it for the Western Selects. Puck drop, batted to the corner. Now up top for Longridge. Shakes off Riley. Down low. Gwynn giving a bump on one of his opponents. And he'll roll back out to center. Blake far side. Stick checked off the puck. Now coming back in is Manders. Party man Carey. Man Carey in front. Riley shot scores through the five hole of McDonald. Toronto Pro Hockey take a 6 nothing lead. Man Carey carrying that puck into the zone. Sliding it across to Riley. Riley able to find the five hole. It is back out now to center ice to take the face off. Getting run time here in the first period. It's a six nothing lead built for Toronto Pro Hockey. 13 to two, the shots on goal, now 14 to two. Well, maybe it's not supposed to be run hockey as the referee's wondering why the clock's still running. And we'll find out what's going on. Oh, so they are going to fix that. Not supposed to be run time hockey. Because they're going to sort this out at center ice. Now they've stopped the clock and they'll put a minute and six seconds back on. As Man Carey in front. Might have a little time here to get a scoring summary involved for you. It is 6 nothing in the first period. But Toronto Pro Hockey knew what they had to do. They need to get above Manitoba. And three points will now put them... Two points up if they pick up the win here above Manitoba, and games will be evened up in four four games played apiece. And Manitoba still has to play later on this afternoon, so it'll be back to that one game in hand for TPH. They'll have to play two after this afternoon's game, so they have two more remaining after this. So last one to play here now in the first period, 39 seconds remaining. It's Chan down the wall, Man Carey after it. He'll send it along the boards, trying to. 
Drive it back in front of the net. Toronto Pro Hockey forced to the wall. Leibowitz in the mix. CJ Panza hard across the line. Chan going to hold it in. Leibowitz now picking it back up the other way. Leibowitz slides through into the slot. Great little move. Shot stopped by Fullerton. Third save of the game for Fullerton. A good play by Leibowitz. Absolutely. Leibowitz had the fast speed, and Fullerton thought he'd have an easier time challenging on that puck, but Leibowitz beat him to it and almost put it over, over the shoulder. Seven seconds left here in the first period, and Toronto Pro Hockey has built up a commanding 6-0 lead as the final seconds roll off the clock. Tough period for the Western Selects as they were hemmed into their zone for a large portion of that first period. And the offense of the Toronto Pro Hockey has certainly come alive here in their fourth game. And Eric, oh, go ahead. I was going to say Eric Wang was, was credited with the fifth goal of the game. So he now has two points, does Eric Wang. And we have Manders with two goals. Manders, two goals. Wang, two goals. Dylan Lamborn, two assists. And Sal Azakia, three assists lead so far the team in scoring. That's a good balance for Toronto for hockey. As we're going to take a quick look now at one of the replays of Toronto Pro Hockey. A lot to choose from, though, as they lead 6-0. Let's see which one producer Cody puts <laughs> out for us. <laughs> we're playing the guessing game here. I'd like to remind everybody, today's game sponsor is Pro Hockey Life. Here, the matchup between Pro Hockey and Western Selects. Callum Riley getting credit for the sixth goal. And Mancari and Diara picking up the assist. So on that goal by Riley. And that made it 6 nothing. And that will bring up a little bit of a Toronto action highlights here for pro hockey with a win here. If they can hang on to this one, they built a commanding lead. So well on their way to doing so, they will grab their sixth, seventh, and eighth point. And a we'll fast start. They really, they might have caught Western Selects a bit on their heels. And they just weren't able to, you know, recharge the battery for Western Selects. And, We've seen goals scored in bunches, and this is quite a large great bunch, that's for sure. Goaltending change after that sixth or fifth goal, pardon me. And now we're going to see the goaltenders switch back. And Chavez is actually going back in the net now. So McDonald came in for a bit to give Chavez a breather, and now they will go back for Chavez into the net. As face-off, one of the players lost their gloves in the Western Selection. Connolly back comes Toronto on the attack. Manders, this one offside though, is unable to enter cleanly. And now we got the replay ready for Toronto Pro Hockey. And you'll see this is their third goal of the game. And that nice backhand shot, the second one from Brock Manders. Yeah, Brock Manders went cross green on Chavez, able to beat him on the glove side there to make it a three nothing game. Back in for TPH, into the corner. Trying to work it free was Mulligan, but a couple Maple or Toronto Pro Hockey jerseys, similar to the Toronto Maple Leafs jerseys. Going to peel it out of the pile, and Connolly back to the way. Morrow harassed by Watson. In comes Manders, a balancing buck, trying to get it in front of Fullerton. Uneventful as it rolls back towards the far side. Connolly battling with his man. Trying to come into the scrum is Morrow, Connolly, Leibowitz also there. Manders for Toronto Pro Hockey. It'll bounce off a leg. Manders looking to race after it. Back across. Pardon me, that was a laddie. Manders following it up. Mulligan. Nice little stop behind the net to shake off the forecheck. And Western Selects will get it back out to center as we play the first minute here in the second period. Moore slides it across. All the way back up, but gonna be offside against Azakia. Azakia was going off for a change. That forward change is actually stuck inside the blue line, the offensive zone of each team here, now playing in that second period. So the long change will play a little bit of effect here. Might see some longer changes, might see some longer shifts for both teams. As we see them set up here to the left side, the glove side of our Toronto Pro Hockey member, Fullerton. Back behind the net. Lamborn now near side for TPH. He'll go off the boards. Aza up, chips it around Blake. After it goes Leo Attard. Attard now driving down the right wing. He's poke checked by Longridge. Attard gets it back and now more pressure from Western. Able to steer it back up along the near side. Hackett dropped down to the ice. Or Aza that was, mind you. And Lamborn send it in. Aza scoops it up. Poked by Calder. Followed up Gwynn. Hard off the boards. Calder now driving. 
Called there wide. She's dipping around. Looking to center, Gwynn. Gwynn gets a little the redirection towards the net, but not enough gusto on it, and that'll be easily covered by Fullerton. Really great job by Toronto Pro Hockey there. Keep gowing the defenseman, taking out the Lena Leibowitz, unable to continue further down into the zone, unable to set things up for the Western Selects. The Boston Gwynn able to get a little shot on net to Fullerton, get a stoppage in play. We've got to face off some ozone time here. Much needed ozone time for the Western Selects. Back off the faceoff, Toronto Pro Hockey will lead it out the ice. It's down for Moore. Pardon me, Riley. Dipsy doodle around the defenseman, gets it into the corner. Riley, pays a Kia. We have Markey in the line, unable to hold that in. Chan will pick it up into his own zone. A little bit of backpedal action. Now far, fire it off the far side. Stopped by McDermott. Back for Chan. Cross D to D. Now breaking it back up. Man carry. Lost that one. On to Calder. He's got King with him. King will bounce it in. Back for it goes Chan. Chan around the wall. Riley after it. Stopping it up is Connolly. Long shot from the selects. A bouncing one and Fullerton knocks it back, but right out into the slot. Dangerous rebound. Toronto Pro Hockey breaking it in. The pass across going to Man Carey. He'll scoop this one off the boards. Diera at the point. Selects will bang it back out to center ice. Meisner scoops it up. Back for Diara. Up the wall. Man Carey. Little shimmy off the wall and shakes free of Krieger. Krieger, though. Secures that rolling puck back into his zone. Right in front of the net, Krieger. Will scoop it up to Celebrini all the way down the ice. Should be icing though. And it is against the Western Selects. Western Selects able to get the puck up a little more often now as they're trying to get their passes together. We saw some good teamwork there between McDermott on the far side as well as Panza trying to get the puck in deep. Just unable to get some quality time in the Ozone for the Selects. They'll have to take the icing call and get some fresh wheels on the ice. Now back at the point, long wrister, that one up and over the net, rides the stanchion, found now by Toronto Pro Hockey into the corner. Played all the way out, here comes Smith, takes a bit of a bump there from Moore, and there is gonna be a penalty given to that hit by Moore. Toronto Pro Hockey will tuck the puck, and Western Slacks will head onto the power play. Just a little too aggressive as Smith was trying to gain space along the close boards here. Grayson Moore closing that space, just taking too much body at the same time and he will take two minutes or less for a boarding call as the official makes it. 8.27 left in the second period. Power play brought to you by Kachuk Advisory Group at Scotia Wealth Management. First opportunity for Western. Western hopefully gets get some time here. Set up deep. Russo a blast. That one blocked in front by Lamborn. Russo back towards the net. Lamborn got dumped down. Now King into the corner, spinning around his Moro. Moro will work it back up top. Russo. Quarterback in the power play. Near side, Mulligan. His shot blocked. Going to be fouled by Manders. Trying to drive it out. Can't. Back off the boards. Was Watson. To Hackett. Hackett now shorthanded. Hackett. Wrap around opportunity. Stopped by Chavez. And he's got the rebound. Chavez able to get across there as Manders and Hackett causing some trouble down below the goal line, making a couple of intercepted passes getting a better chance on Chavez as he slides across to make the save. We saw the stretch as we saw both defensemen having to mark both forwards here at the other blue line. So the neutral zone is wide open if they're able to get the puck out and create an on-man rush entering into the Toronto zone. 6-0 for Toronto Pro Hockey here in the second period. A bouncing one will be carried back out. Now Smith driving it down the boards. Calder looking to take it free. Followed up, Smith. And be sent all the way down the ice by Diara. Yeah, Leibowitz and Calder and Smith just unable to communicate there. Who's going to get the loose puck? And it ended up being one of the Toronto Pro Hockey players, defenseman Benjamin Diara, sending it deep. Western hemmed into their own zone. We'll send it back up. Here goes Smith. Sidesteps Alati. Now going to drive back down the wall. Diara, another good defensive play to knock it out to center. Calder sweeping in with Smith. Smith now wide, Calder to the net. The shot coming, tipped by Calder, and unable, I don't think it ever went towards Fullerton. He just tipped it wide. A nice looking whack out of midair there. Now Leibowitz across, trying to get set up for the Western Selects, taken off the puck by Alati, and forced back outside the zone. Real good scoring chance, just unable to get it on that. That tip just didn't work. 
6.53 left in the second period. Celebrini in, got a couple goals in this tournament. Shot one low. That one collides with the pad of Fullerton. Now on the board, Smith shoots. Fullerton save, rebound, bobbles in front. And cleared back around in it by Celebrini. He is pushed up along the wall by Moore. Celebrini gets free, pardon me, it was Gowing pushing up along the wall. Now Leibowitz, high slot, wrist shot, blocked by Azakia. And Azakia will send it back out to center. Scooping up is Huang, he's got two goals already. Huang in towards the net and taken down. No penalty on the call, back for TPH. Six nothing with six minutes left here in the second. Back for Morrow. Morrow, nice move, cut it into the slot. Poked away though by the last layer of defense in Watson. Chan with Watson, the two blue liners looking to steer it up along the wall. Long ridge, long shot. Rebound, stopped by Fullerton. Big save, down is the TPH goalie. And it'll be helped out by the crew and steered out to center. Puck deflected right to Boston Gwynn. Great stop by Fullerton, his best of the evening. Man carry, long wrist shot. Knocked away by Chavez. Back in for Manders, trying to slide it back in front and Chavez finds it. And we'll cover that one for another whistle. So we got 5.35 left here in the second period. Western Select starting to get a bit of an offensive attack against Fullerton, getting some good clean shots, some good clean looks, just unable to beat the netminder in Toronto. Back up top, Lamborn, send it along the wall. Trying to drive it out as Longridge. Up top, Moore, sliding one back towards the net, in for Blake. Blake back, stick lift, now a chance. As trying to cover it, Chavez unable to, Blake will move it. CJ Panza. Oh, we to Connolly. Connolly now knocked down by Moore. In Lamborn behind the net. Up along the wall is Riley trying to knock that down from the stanchion. Does. Holding it in McDermott. So we have five minutes left here in the second period. Six nothing the score for Toronto Pro Hockey. It's back out for Blake. Blake slides it up. Connolly taps it in. Lamborn back. He'll go far side, breaking it in. Manders, wrist shot, Chavez save, rebound, scores. Mancari will clean up the garbage and give Toronto a 7-0 lead. Manders with the long distance shot. Chavez thought he had control of that rebound, just kicked it the wrong way as he was sliding to the left and the rebound went to the right. And Mancari was able to sweep that in behind the goaltender. So 18 to six, the shot's on goal. Manders will stay out on the ice with Hackett and Mancari. Really taking against the face off on Calder. Now one towards the wall, here's Hackett. Hackett going wide. Stuffed up into the half wall. Attacking zone. Diara, the defenseman, will back paddle out. Manders, good little back check to strip the puck. Back up for Aladdy. Aladdy slides it in for Hackett. Hackett drags towards the net. Backhand by Manders, that one played back for Hackett. Hackett now looking to bounce one in, taken down by Calder and a power play coming up for Toronto. Yeah, Calder was trying to lean into that, trying to squeeze the play out. Just took a little bit too much body in that corner as he will go and sit on the penalty. Calder to the box. Looks like it's gonna be a boarding call against Calder. So Manders, Aladdy, Chan, I believe that's Hackett on the far side, and Diara on the point. Hackett will win it. Now to Manders, near side Aladdy. Trying to play it up top, Chan drags, fires up and into the air, fluttering puck, settled down. Panza, nice play to get it all the way down the ice. Good job by Panza to find that loose puck as it's up in the air. Good job to use the glove as opposed to start waving sticks at it. Was able to find that loose puck and send it 200 feet down the ice. Manders gonna break it out of the zone. Nifty backhand pass to find his man and hack it. Hack it now wide. Back door to Manders and broken up by McDermott. Now back up along the wall. Sent out of the zone again by Panza. Nice play in front of the net there by McDermott. McDermott game goal saving stop there, getting in way of that interference of that pass that was open two open to Toronto players in front of the net three minutes 17 seconds left here in the second period Huang 
In along the half wall, back up to the point. Watson trying to drive it down low. Panza looking to get it out. Can't, runs into Moore. Back across, backhand pass, side of the net. Trying to jam it in there. Was man carry. Another opportunity. This one by Azakia. Has three assists already. Looking for the goal, but it's stopped by Chavez. Azakia doing the turnaround on the faceoff dot there. And it looked like the shot was deflected before it got to Chavez. And Chavez had to be very careful watching the carom. Goes off the pad and he's able to stop this and keep the rebound close by for the stop and play. Face off, Celebrini will win that back for Western. Still 48 seconds left here on the Toronto Pro Hockey power play. Be played back towards the line. Watson down the boards. They're gonna drive it back to his Azakia. Did Watson, now Azakia. Top of the circle, fans on it. Forced back Mulligan. Wang down low, Azakia with it. Azakia will walk towards it and shoot, scores! Fourth point of the game for Sal Azakia and rifles that one in the top corner. It's eight now in Toronto. Really great work going D to sideboard, halfway wall, half wall if you will. Azakia sitting on the high wall. Ozzy Watson sitting on the point going back and forth and then Azakia able to take the A line straight to the net and finds a top shelf over Chavez. Toronto Pro Hockey now with eight goals, and we mentioned that if they do end up in a tie break, that goals for goals differential, the separation is going to be your tying factor. And having an eight nothing win, or even more so possibly, there's still a period left, is huge. As Mulligan trying to fire. Can't do it, played back out. Azakia after it. Moore gonna follow up, Moore down low, Azakia. Back in behind the net, playing it off the back of the wall. Scaring out his colony. Connolly out to Celebrini. Pardon me, that was Leibowitz. Bank double leg. Moore under two minutes to play now in the second period. Back off the bench is Man Carey. He'll get it across center. Man Carey now stick checked off the puck by Russo. Connolly going to follow it up. Knocked free by Watson. Leibowitz in there. Watson. Moore skates out of the pile. And drive it down, Morrow, Connolly, Leibowitz, battling, hoping to keep it in, doing so. Morrow will find it along the far side, Connolly, poke checked off the puck. Russo holds it in, looking to battle it, trying to get it out. Hey, Zakia's in there, Mancari, Meisner, and now a penalty coming up, and it's going to the Western Selects. It's a tripping call, and Toronto Pro Hockey right back to the power play. Yeah, Russo got caught up with one of the forwards of Toronto Pro Hockey right in front of the penalty box. And he just had a loose stick there. He caused the trip, got it stuck between both legs of one of the players. And he'll sit in the penalty box for two minutes or less. Just 11 left here in the second frame. 21 six of the shots. A regroup, perhaps, in the third period for Western Select to try to maybe break the goose egg. 11 left. We'll have that regroup and just over a minute time. But Toronto Pro Hockey back to the power play. Brought to you by Kachuk Advisory Group and Scotia Wealth Management looking for their ninth goal of the game. Man Carey up top. Now at the line. Shot in by Gowing. Rebound chance and up and over the net. Final minute of the play here. Up top, Lamborn. Trying to get it free from Gwynn. Back into the corner. Backhand pass. It hops over Meisner. Meisner now spins it down low. Riley on it. Body contact, the last call wasn't tripping. Russo into the box. Been an 18 left on the power play, but barring any other goals or penalties, this first or second period will expire, leaving the Toronto Pro Hockey power play when we come back into the third. Lamborn back down low, 16 seconds left. In for Mancari. Mancari trying to knock it free of Long Ridge, does. Then gets it lost in the feet. Mancari picks it back up. Up for Lamborn. Across the blue line, sends it around. Hustling after it is Meisner. And the final seconds will roll off the board. But it was five goals in the first period, another three goals here in the second, and an eight nothing lead for Toronto Pro Hockey. Just constant, relentless pressure there put on by Toronto Pro Hockey. Definitely working on a lot of their offensive skill, working the puck, finally finding some of those plays they probably worked on over the last couple of months coming to fruition for TPH. And for Western Select, she's got to keep trying hard, boys and keep working at it, good things will come. Toronto Pro Hockey leads 8-0 after two periods of play. We'll take a break and have a lengthy scoring summary 
along with third period puck drop coming up next. Welcome to Pilot Mountain Hockey Academy, your world-class academic and hockey training facility created to maximize each student's athletic and academic potential. Blackjack Stewart Arena, home of the Buffalo, is inside the 46,000 square foot complex, as well as a curling rink and other facilities. The students have a unique combination of successful, well-rounded education at Pilot Mountain Collegiate Institute and the professional hockey training in an encouraging community. The years of experience of on ice coaching propel our students to the next level both mentally and physically in a professional environment. At Collins Hotel, we have you and your family's comfort in mind. Relax in one of our 16 suites featuring king or queen size beds and 36 inch TVs. Suites also include a mini fridge and other kitchen appliances to make your stay as comfortable as possible. During your stay in Pilot Mound, visit Weiser's Restaurant, our attached family friendly restaurant and bar. It is the perfect location to host group meals, dine with the family, or unwind after a hockey game. Come in and meet our friendly staff offering daily specials on food and drinks, wing night Wednesdays, buffet Fridays, and multiple TVs to watch the game. Wiser's is the place to be. Collins Hotel and Wiser's Restaurant and Bar, located across the street from Blackjack Stewart Arena off Highway 3 in Pilot Mount.
Welcome back inside West Edmonton Mall. Toronto Pro Hockey with an 8-0 lead here over the Western Slacks. Want to give a quick apology, though, to Luke Attard. As I was saying, Leo Attard throughout the first two periods. Leo Chan and Luke Attard. So I had my sheet crossed up a bit there. And I uh, want to get it right, of course, for him and family watching back home in Ontario there for Luke Attard. Well, what a start for Toronto Pro Hockey Field. Unrelentless, like relentless. Just simply, you know, left nothing left on the table at all. Knew they had to come up with a fast start. They did so. Putting up a six spot in the first and then a couple more in the second. Back out down the far side, Watson. Trying to be stick check. Toronto on the power play for another 30 seconds here to start the third period. They lead 8 0. And on their way to leapfrogging Manitoba in the standings. Back door almost knocking that win. Roselle Carey. Back out. Toronto Pro Hockey. Alati, pardon me. Now far side. And brought back in, here comes Manders. Manders coming in, Hackett it is, Hackett wide. 97 in, backhand shot, rebound. This one almost Wang with the hat trick. In towards the circle, Hackett. Shot, bouncing puck wide, it'll hop over the stick of King. Played to the line, Watson, good hold. Back out of the glove, Longridge. Alotti after it. Alotti drives it back down low. Manders has two goals in this game as well. Rolls it into the corner, Celebrini after it. End of the power play, we're back to five on five and one minute, 10 seconds. Gone here in the third period. Moore, long distance, Rister. This one wide of the net of Chavez. Manders will dig it back out of the corner. Manders, top of the circle. Hackett it is, 97, not 87. Working it wide, now it's Manders in front. It's a bouncing buck, gonna be stick checked. Longridge, Blake battling into the corner. Watson, trying to shovel it back down the boards. Manders off the wall. It's in all Toronto Pro Hockey here to start the third period. Watson along the boards. Down low, looking for Blake. Blake will scoop it up. Fire it to the point. Watson, Alotti, off the boards. Panza trying to clear, and finally Western Selects looks like they'll get it out, and they do, but just briefly, as Alotti sends it in. Watson with a little bit of a bump on Blake. Panza, stick checked out the puck by Hackett. Hackett, wide around King, out of the zone, and this one's gonna be offside against Toronto. Yes, absolutely. Toronto just hemming in Western there for the last, for the entire third period, really. Able to get a bit of a break here, a bit of a fresh air, fresh new tires and wheels for Western Selects and get some new legs out there. But just continue to work on that pressure. Toronto Pro Hockey has two games remaining. And they have to continue to work on the things at hand that are going to give them the opportunity to win out the rest of this round, Robin. Here comes Atard, going to take it into the zone. Drags, fires, blocker save Chavez. Atard, another whack at it into the corner. As working on it for Toronto Pro Hockey is Wang. Across the ice. Chan, D to D. Knocked in there by Diara. And around the net. Calder spilling down to the ice is Azakia. Azakia down low. Huang pushed up against the boards. Puck slips back to the side of the net. Luke Attard in towards the corner, twisting, trying to shake off Krieger. Attard now cross ice pass, bounces to Leo Chan. Shot off a leg, and this one crawled into the corner. Toronto Pro Hockey in the opening three minutes here in the third period has been all in the end of Western Selects. Broke back out, sent in by Smith. Back for it's Chan around the net, near side. Played off a shin pad. Atard throws it into the zone. He'll head off for a line change. Mancari in there for TPH. Will be found by Krieger. Back for Mancari. Working up against Krieger. Twisting around. Mancari still with it, trying to separate. Up top, Gowing. Shoveling it back down the boards. Meisner, the four checker, battling with McDermott, peeled away, and now out comes Morrow, a three on two developing here for the Western Selects. Morrow wide, rolling, puck towards the net. This one battled back down, no, as two teams, two players, pardon me, tie each other up. Sent up along the boards, Riley. Kill center ice pass on for Meisner, or Mancari, Mancari in. Stick checked by Russo. Meisner now follows him up. Sends it down low. In front is Mancari. Pass comes. Shoot. Scores. Up above the glove. And Mancari with his second goal. As 9-0 Toronto Pro Hockey. Man, just 
man carry was left wide open there in front, able to get the shot above the glove. The Toronto Pro Hockey with nine. Continuing to work on the things that they need to, like we said. You know, you, you can't take your you can't foot take off your the pedal. pedal. And like you said, goals for goals against could play a deciding factor when this is all said and done after round robin action. We saw the Manitoba Junior Ice win, but also put up a seven spot last night. And here we are doing the same in Toronto for hockey. If a couple of goals are going to matter when you have tied up in points, you have to continue to score. Manders taking it wide, breaking it in. Manders right towards the net, shoots and rolls wide. Opportunity there for Manders as it bounced all the way to the line. Here's Moore, the defenseman driving in right towards the front of the net. Backhand shot up and over. Toronto Pro Hockey right back to work. Manders in front. Alati trying to smack it back towards the net. Forced to the wall. Mulligan now battling. Celebrini's in there. Celebrini unable to get that puck back to the blue line. Panza now an opportunity. Over skates. It's actually held in here by TPA. Gelati has his stick slashed out of his hands. Penalty, no call on the ice. It's Hackett battling. Manders battling in towards the corner wall. And steered back out now by Western. On towards center ice, back out for Aladdy. Aladdy will work across center, or the blue line. And offside though, just by a step, was Hackett. 9.36 left in the third period. Hackett tried to put on the brakes, and Aladdy just continued to move diagonally, put Hackett offside. But like we mentioned, it's gonna come down to goals for us, to goals against, and the closest of points between that spot for three, four, and five. Three teams still in the division, leapfrogging each other as they play each game. Back out. Driving down the wing. There was Diara followed up. Azakia, higher wrist shot up and over the net. In for Longridge. Huang's also in the corner. Atard, Chan at the line. Luke Atard stripped of the puck. Near side for Gwyn. Boston Gwyn far out to center. Here comes Smith. Smith wide trying to get. Shot action towards the net of Fullerton. Hasn't really seen much. Opportunity out in front. Hops over the stick of Gwynn. And it's going to be found now by Toronto. Broken back out. Azakia followed up Chan. Chan will go wide. Hits Huang. Another steer towards the net. Huang with two goals in this game. Get you a little point totals coming up in the next stoppage of play. As Smith hits Boston Gwynn. He'll turn that over, though. Back comes Huang. He's got Azakia with him. Huang wide, trying to get a wraparound opportunity. Yeah, this one on the side of the net. Not sure how that didn't go in for the hat trick on Huang, but just didn't get the right curl on the toe of the stick. I think the defenseman was able to get a stick just there before it crossed the blue line, or blue line, goal line, my apologies. As we get a stop here as Fullerton covers it up. And we'll get some new players on the ice for both teams. Fullerton just wanted to touch the puck a little bit there. Seventh shot on the net of Fullerton. As Toronto Pro Hockey putting on a show here, 9-0, they lead over the Western Selects. Back out in front, Connolly almost on it. Back for Man Carey to pick it up. You got a five-point night for Sal Azakia. One goal, four assists. Three-point nights for both Lamborn and Manders. And then five players with two points in Man Carey, Huang, Riley, Watson, and Moore for Toronto Pro Hockey. Back around the net. Penalty now coming up for Toronto Pro Hockey. 9-0 they lead. 752 left here in the third period. Looks like it'll be Lamborn going off for two minutes or less as he was caught with a trip. On the Western Selects player down below. Getting a power play for the Western Selects. A little five on four action to the right side of our goaltender Fullerton. Celebrini looks like he's taking the face off against Manders. Anders won it back into the corner. Now cleared out by Toronto Pro Hockey. Power play brought to you by Kachuk Advisory Group and Scotia Wealth Management at the Kachuk Advisory Group. Scotia Wealth Management, we share a passion for our community. So we believe wealth is more than just about money. Manders fires a wrist shot. McDermott into the corner. Hackett going to follow it up. Stripped by Celebrini, and Celebrini will take it all the way back out. In across center. Here goes Celebrini wide. Dylan Lamborn was the one who took the two minute tripping call, but back comes Hackett. As he got a step on McDermott. Hackett forced back to the wall as McDermott got back in time, got the poke check involved. 
Now into the corner, back for Toronto. Shot coming, stopped by Chavez. Hackett, Moore, fires. Stopped by Chavez. Tied up. Now picked up by Russo, back behind the net. Russo, long lifting shot out to center ice. Panza, helped out by Celebrini. 6.40 left here in the third period. As coming up next, we'll have the Boston Junior Bruins taking on Team Pennsylvania. You gonna jump in the chair for that one, Theo? Well, you probably will. Back around the net. Celebrini up towards the blue line. This one stripped by Attar. Attar trying to dust off the defense. Doing it, backhand scores. Luke Attar with the 10th goal of the game for Toronto Pro Hockey. And they now hit double digits. Luke Attar with the shorthanded goal, able to steal that at the blue line and move to his backhand and put a nice backhand over the blocker side. Beautiful shot by Luke Attar. He rifled that backhand over the, over the blocker, pardon me, of Chavez and a 10 spot for TPH. Battling back in as Western Select, still six minutes left here in the third period. As out comes Toronto. Jumping into the zone is Azakia. Send it around in towards the corner wall. Now out for Celebrini, pardon me, that's Calder, poke checked off the puck. And Smith is gonna enter The zone offside, and we're going to stop it to play. Shorthanded goal announced. Shorthanded goal scored by Luke Attard. And he'll now take the face off, battling up against Smith. Smith wins it, brings it in. Azakia scoops it up. Five points for Azakia, and looking for more in. Azakia shoots, stopped by Chavez. Big save there. As Gwynn will steer it back out towards center ice. Gwynn battling against the tar. Azakia picks it up. Taking it wide into the corner. Calder going to strip him of the puck. Followed up by Huang. Now knocking it back is Blake off the boards. Here's a tar looking for another one and punched up and over the net. Good game for him. Azakia as well. Huang with a couple goals. This line's been dynamite. As around the net, Azakia sending it up in front. Take it away. Smith gonna kick it up from his skate to his stick. 4.50 left here in the third period. That line has been very good. Balanced scoring on all fronts. Azakia, like you said, one goal, four assists. Lamborn with three assists as well. Being unselfish from the blue line. Rolling puck, man Carey battling there against Krieger. Forced back out to center ice. Connolly will find it, jam it in. Back behind the net there, Fullerton. On it is Morrow scooping up the puck. Morrow into the corner wall, tied up. Trying to find a player down low, does. It's Leibowitz, Leibowitz tied up by Meisner. Wraparound opportunity right through the blue paint as Western trying to get one by the goaltender in Fullerton. Now stretch pass, Carey. He'll work it down the right. Sweeps back up top of the circle. Pass for Gowing, Gowing fires, scores! At the point, a long distance shot will beat Chavez and Connor Gowing picking up his first goal of the tournament. Connor Gowing with a good looking shot from the point. Mancari doing the curl on the half wall, finding that saucer pass over to the left defenseman. And he's able to get it under the blocker for the final, the last goal here for TPH. Morrow back at center ice. They'll take the face off. 357 left here in the third period. As 11 nothing now the score for Toronto Pro Hockey. Man Carey will take it around the net. Protecting it well. Man Carey watched Krieger trying to check him off the puck. Pass up for Riley. Now near side, Leibowitz. Leibowitz in wide. Trying to stop up along the half wall. Up top for McDermott. Sending it back down low. Scooped up Connolly. Off the wall. Connolly now watched by Watson. As out comes Riley. Morrow will slap it back in. 28 to 7. The shots on goal favoring.
Toronto Pro Hockey as well. A lot of the attention in front of Chavez. Goaltender for the Western Selects. Riley back the other way. Riley will dip wide, stop it up along the boards. Riley now cutting towards the net. Wraparound chance off the side of the net. Couple opportunities here for Toronto to wrap the puck around and tuck it home. One completed, a couple others missed as Hackett snaps a shot. That one bounced into the corner wall is now for Chan. Chan drags, fires, pushed it wide off the boards. On it is Diara. He'll throw it up into a shin pad and scooped up, played back out. At the blue line, so far held in, now brought out as Leibowitz. Back across center ice. Under three minutes, 2.20 to be exact. Hackett rubs out Leibowitz along the boards. Scrum ensues inside Toronto's end. Leibowitz battling for it. Still holding up against the wall is Leo Chan. Manders back the other way and now a whistle blown down. I believe penalties coming to both Chan and Celebrini. A little tied up after behind the play there, so. Not sure what the whistle was for. They're not taking anyone to the penalty box and Manders wasn't yet in the zone. Nonetheless, we'll have a face off outside of the zone. Any idea? Uh, Maybe the offside call from the back judge. Manders, but I highly doubt it. Manders wasn't in the zone yet. Yeah. As Azakia taking it wide. Maybe just the whistle to calm the two gentlemen down behind the play as opposed to taking him into the penalty box. I'd say that's probably what it was. The gentleman thing to do. Down low in front of the net. Backhand chance for Wang. And there's Azakia. Scores. Six points for Azakia and a 12 0 Toronto lead. Bar down, a little bit of dinger. Sal Izakia, two goals, four assists. Beautiful shot there in front of the net. And didn't have much room as Chavez right in front of him, but tucks it up and under the bar. And Toronto Pro Hockey gonna get their eight points now on the tournament and go to three to one. After losing the first game, they've won three straight. Three straight and also leapfrogging Manitoba Junior Ice for that third spot in the division, which is going to get them into the championship round. Back out come the Western Select. It's Calder. And unfortunately for Western, after winning their first game, they've lost four straight now. Shot coming from Calder, that one wide. Is Russo battling here? Is Gwyn is in there? Atard as well. Back around. And brought back out, looking for more is Azakia. Azakia wide. They're gonna take it around Mulligan. Slides it backhand. Eric Huang in there. Back up towards the wall. Azakia trying to play it back out. Or trying to keep it in, pardon me. A little bit of a body check there. It's 44 seconds left in this game. Watson. Wide around Russo. Watson. Backdoor play and this one just a little wide of Azakia. Azakia and looked like it was Moore. Able, unable, just unable to get a stick on there. It's a little bit outside of their reach. Smith stick checked off the puck. One of the Western players down on the ice and Mulligan, a little slow to get up. 15 seconds left. And the Toronto Pro Hockey gonna pick up a commanding victory here as offside and one more whistle with 9.7. I didn't see if Mulligan got tripped up on the play if he just fell awkwardly on the ice, but he's getting attended to on the bench. Meisner will come in with the face off. Morrow, squared up against him, is one back by Morrow on it, Connolly. Or probably Longridge. Longridge will work it back into the zone. I'm gonna drag this one in as Long Ridge and the final seconds will roll off the board and a commanding victory for Toronto Pro Hockey who now see themselves jump up into the playoff spot, leapfrog Manitoba and currently are in third place in that Winston division. Third place, game in hand, uh, very commanding lead. Watching the offense today with the Toronto Pro Hockey, definitely coming alive as we see Sal Ezekiel leading it off with two goals and four assists and a plethora of Toronto Pro Hockey players doing a great job helping out on the scoring sheet. Well, this game was brought to you by Pro Hockey Life. 
And coming up next, we got the Boston Junior Bruins taking on Team Pennsylvania. But if we get a little bit of a stat look here for Toronto Pro Hockey, a lot of their players padding those stats is Sal Azakia, two goals and four assists for six points. He had the defenseman in Dylan Lamborn with four points on the night, all assists. Grayson Mancari, Eric Wang, and Brock Manders with three, along with Luke Attard as we let you trying to get through a difficult, probably, process of picking three stars in this matchup. You know, it's one of those things where you look at the players, but also the, what they do without the puck and how well they play with the open ice, assisting their players and making sure they have good camaraderie throughout the entire game. And I mean, for the Toronto Pro Hockey team, did a great job for Western Selects, skating off with their heads high, knowing they left a great job on the ice, just unable to put anything behind Fullerton who gets the shutout for TPH. Fullerton stops seven of seven as we get ready for the three-star presentation here on ice. Let's take a look at the standings. This game brought to you by Pro Hockey Life and after the win, it'll be Team Minnesota in the Wigston division with 13 points. They're four and one throughout their games and their loss coming in overtime. So 13 points and safe in the playoffs is Team Minnesota. You got the Toronto Bulldogs through four games. They got a three and one record and nine points. All three coming in regulation. Their loss also in regulation. Manitoba Ice, two and two with six points. Now gets surpassed by Toronto Pro Hockey, who are two and one, or pardon me, three and one now with eight points. As their one of their wins came in overtime with a two point win. So Team Minnesota, Toronto Bulldogs, and Toronto Pro Hockey are three teams that are so far in, of course, Manitoba, Toronto, both Toronto teams have only played four games. Minnesota has now played five. So we're gonna see Toronto Pro Hockey two more times. Same with Manitoba, same with Toronto Bulldogs. As Austin McDermott will get the third star of the game for the Western Select, strong play along the back end there for McDermott, number 47. And Dylan Lamborn getting your second star of the game. Four assists. What a game for him. we got to think it might be Sal Azakia. Yes, it is. Sal Azakia with six points tonight. And he'll be your first star of the game. Coming up next, we got a matchup between the Boston Junior Bruins and Team Pennsylvania. Both teams below the playoff line trying to fight back in, but it's a lot of work as seven points separate Boston Junior Bruins, nine points separate Team Pennsylvania, and they are unable to get back into the playoffs, but still valiant effort expected from both sides of Boston and Pennsylvania coming up next here on ASTV as the players take their ceremonial pictures, the three stars of the game. It is McDermott for the Western Selects, the third star, and then Lamborn and Azakia, the two stars for Toronto Pro Hockey. As we have three games remaining today, or probably four games remaining, Boston Junior Bruins, we're halfway through, we'll play Team Pennsylvania. Manitoba Junior Ice against Detroit Junior Red Wings. Connecticut Junior Rangers against Team Brick Alberta. And Toronto Bulldogs against Team Chicago. As you start to see the playoffs come into fruition, Connecticut Montreal tied with 11 points, tops in the Styles division. Team Brick Alberta right behind them with 10 points. Montreal's played the most amount of games between those teams with five, other guys with four. And then on the Wigston, Minnesota, Toronto, and now Toronto. As the Bulldogs and Pro Hockey both into the mix here in the playoff race. And we're gonna let Theo jump into the play-by-play -play chair for the next coming game. As here is Theo Tutkluck now joined with the two stars of the game for Toronto Pro Hockey. It's Sal Azakia and Dylan Lamborn. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us here with us now. The second and first star from Toronto Pro Hockey with four assists, Dylan Lamborn and Sal Azakia. Two goals, four assists. Gentlemen, what was with the quick start on them right away? Give me some words there, Dylan. Uh, uh. 
He's speechless. He left it all on the ice. Sal, that second goal, right over the top of the goal, right up there. Is that something you practice all the time? Yeah, I do target practice with my dad. Is, is dad in net or has he just put the target for you? Target for me. Perfect. And Dylan, you see the ice really well. Four assists. Playing defense, what's your best advantage to see the ice and move the puck up to your teammates? Uh, you just hopefully they get open uh, and hopefully make that pass. You guys have had a pretty easy go so far, only three games. Now it's getting busy. Have you guys been able to keep a track and make sure you're playing hockey first and everything else second? Yeah. Yeah. Right on. So a couple more games left. I've got to ask, who would you like to say hi to back home, Dylan? Uh, probably my dog, Murphy. First one for the dog, Murphy. And yourself, Sal? Uh, yeah, my dog, Deeker. He's at home. All right, so some quality time by the boys after this tournament from the Brick 22 with the pets. Thank you, gentlemen. Sal, Dylan, have a great rest of the tournament, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.